Today I am going to discuss about a very long HDL code for JK flip flop using gate level modeling. So last video we discussed the same JK flip flop using case statement. Today's video we focus on JK flip flop using gate level modeling. So first I draw the circuit diagram for JK flip flop. So logic circuit diagram for JK flip flop. So in this circuit diagram, you are using four NAND gates. So this one is a clock input. Then this one is J. This one is K. This output of first NAND gate is connected to third NAND gate. Output of second NAND gate connect to fourth NAND gate. Input of fourth NAND gate. So here output is Q. So this output is Q bar. Then this Q is connect to input of fourth NAND gate. Q bar is connect to input of third NAND gate. Then this Q bar is connect to input of first NAND gate and second NAND gate input is Q. So this one is called as NAND1 out. So this one is NAND2 out. So this is the simple logic diagram for JK flip flop. So now I go to write the program for JK flip flop using gate level modeling. So as usual, I write module, then module name. So module name is JK flip flop gate level modeling. So JK flip flop GLM is the module name. Then within bracket, you mention the number of inputs and output parameters. So inputs of J. K, clock, Q, and Q bar. So these are the signals used in the logic diagram. So here J, clock, and K is represented as an input signal. Q and Q bar represent as an output signal. Now I declare the input variable. So inputs of J, K, clock. So these three signals consider as an input signal. Outputs of Q on Q bar. So Q on Q bar. These two signals consider output signal. Then wire. So these two outputs consider as a wire signal. So wire NAND1 out. Then another wire signal. NAND2 out. So these two signals consider wire signal. Then we go to perform the AND operation. Sorry, NAND operations. So first NAND operation, NAND off. So here output is NAND1 out. We just write NAND1 out. So this is the output of first NAND gate. So inputs of J clock, then Q bar. So these three signals of input of NAND gate 1. So J, clock, then Q bar. Then we go to next NAND operation, NAND gate 2. So NAND operation, output of NAND 2 gate is NAND 2 out. Inputs of K, clock and Q. So these three signals are input of NAND2 gate. So K, clock, then Q. So these three signals are input signal. NAND2 out is a output signal. Now we go to third NAND gate. So NAND operation. Here the output is Q. So Q is the output of third NAND gate. Q. 
input of third nano bed is nan one out is the one input and another input is q bar so here you write nan one out comma q bar then we go to fourth nan bit so nan operation so in this fourth nan bit output is q bar so q bar is the output then input of the fourth nan bit is q and another input is nan to out so here the one input is q and another input is nan to out then final instruction is in module so all the functions over so final instruction is in module so this is the simple program for jk flip flop using gate level modeling first you draw the logical diagram for jk flip flop so in this logical diagram we can use four number of nand gates so next we declare the module module name and number of inputs and number of outputs so afterwards we declare the input variable and output variable so in this logical diagram we can use two wire signal one namely called as nand one out and another one namely called as nand two out so here this four statements are declared the operations of nand gate i hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos thank you